Come here, baby. Come here. Come on. Stay. All right, come on. Morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Walk with Regis. Come on. Today is December 31st. Today is New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's, guys. I <sighs> see what kind of walk we're going to have today. Just because he doesn't want to wear his coat and it's cold. Alright, so in today's weather, it will be 46 degrees. Well, Mid to high 40s as a high. And 59% chance of rain. Come on. And in the news of yesterday. Some restaurants have announced that they are temporarily closing due to staff shortages. Oh no. Ah. I actually dropped my phone. Wow. Okay. Come on, Reeve. Some restaurants have announced they are temporarily closing, even on New Year's Eve, due to staff shortages due to COVID. I know at work ourselves, we have like four people out with uh, COVID. I myself have picked up an extra day because of COVID. Also in the news, there will be a bunch of street closures for New Year's Eve downtown. And they will be at different times, starting I think at 10 a.m. with Washington Street and Electric Tower. Then moving on down towards Chippewa and Delaware and then... Um, Franklin and Washington, West Huron, and then between Pearl and Maine, and uh, Mohawk and East Huron, and I'm pretty sure that all along these stretches of streets will be closed. I'm just, and, and there's probably more streets too that I probably just didn't read. So basically, all of downtown, around Chippewa and Maine and Delaware will be closed due to New Year's Eve activities. Also in the news, the fire I reported yesterday at the Grand Hotel, we finally have an estimate. The fire at the Grand Hotel yesterday, formerly known as the Adams Mark, is reported to be around three million in damages. And that's it for the reportable news. Let's see if there's any news stories I can read but can't read about because if I do, then it stops recording the video. The hell? Come on, stupid phone. Come on, stupid phone. Come on, what are you doing? Barbecues, Buffalo's inspirational barbecue owner being remembered. Okay, so I remember reading about that story. It's about a guy who was 88 and he passed away in the morning in his home. And he was the owner of Lee's Barbecue. I never met the man. 
from what I've read, he was a great person. He will be missed. Let's see, anything else? Nope, that's it. And that's it for the news today, guys. Thank you for sticking with me for so 